Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I want to take a minute and talk about these super cheap rails and blocks that you can get on the internet. Um, most of them are from China and they're really, really, really dirt cheap. They're, you can get them for like $8.50 or less if they're on sale. Um, but unfortunately they're also rather low quality. Um, there are three different things that you can get. You can get one that is moving fine, um, but that has slack in the block where you can really feel vibration um, and play between the block and the rail. Um, these can't be fixed. Uh, if there's play in there, you can use them for something that has a load on it and that doesn't see vibrations, um, but that's about it. Um, they are just not usable. You can get the second type, um, which are basically okay, but they're moving really, really, really badly. It's so hard to push them. It's as if they were too tight. Um, what we can do with these is we can clean them off with brake cleaner, uh, move them a couple of times, and then grease them down really well. Uh, they will not be sticking in between um, in between the the steps or in, in on the rail as much, and we can use them, for example, for three D printers for the Z axis, which is very slow moving and uh, the z-axis assembly has a lot of load on it so they will run in and the z-axis motor is usually pretty strong so we can still use these and then there's the third type which are something in between they're basically they're moving okay but then it all of a sudden they'll stop they'll they'll be moving and then it's, it'll be like it's impossible to move and we can actually remedy this uh, most of the time and it's not that complicated. Uh, the problem with this is that um, if we remove the rail from the block and we have to do this really carefully or we may lose all the balls that are in there and when we do this we may already see that from time to time the balls that are in the bearing um, they just stop moving and quite often it is because the retentioning clip that keeps the balls inside this small little rail um, inside the block these are quite often too short which means that they will have a lot of pressure here and here bending in the plastic and then each ball as it is about to go through the plastic and back through the block, inside the block, um, needs a lot of force to pass that. Um, a lot of people will tell you, well put all your, all your weight on it and move it forwards and backwards ten times and it'll be a lot better. Um, that's not gonna work. Because this, this steel retentioning clip is just going to eat into the balls and you're going to uh, just ruin the whole bearing. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to use a screwdriver, a very small one, and we're going to wedge it between the plastic and the clip and we're going to bend the clip at the outermost point just this smallest bit outwards so that the plastic doesn't have the load on it and the ball can easier pass from the rail from the block from the rail in the block into the plastic and back out again and what we need to do is we need to hold on to the rest of the the balls and just fix them down and um, press down on the clamp inside this insert the screwdriver and give it a slight tug not too much just a bit so we will bend this out like one tenth of a millimeter at most. I will turn it around and we'll do the other side. Find the edge and just very carefully bend it and rock it outwards. 
and we flip over the block and to do the same thing on the other side. And then in the far corner, once again, just very slightly bending the clip into the middle. Really carefully, we reinsert the rail. And we can al already see and feel uh, this has done this has done a miracle. This is this is now working really nicely. It's not stopping and won't restart uh, we can actually see that the assembly is moving very good ouch <laughs> and when we're done doing this uh, what we need to do is um, we need to take uh, some uh, alcohol or brake cleaner and we need to basically um, clean all of this off so everything that is in the bearing comes off. There's almost no uh, grease inside these bearings, uh, which is pretty bad. And we're just going to clean everything off so um, it's better than it was before. And we can then feel it moving better. And what we then need is we need some really high quality bearing grease um, this is uh, a very expensive stuff it costs almost as much as uh, all these three rails um, you can also use um, machine grease but you need to make sure that it is um, free of acids and it should not be um, sticking down too much so you could really try to find a bearing grease and uh, once it's cleaned apply some grease into the rail here 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 and here and move the block forwards and backwards until it has taken up enough of the grease after that wipe everything off um, move it again wipe it off again until you see almost no greasy residue on the sides and then you're good to use these blocks and um, once they're moving um, and they're working perfectly um, these blocks are pretty good to use as long as they don't have any play use them um, they're so dirt cheap that you can't get anything um, at a moderate price that would be better um, if you have one with play well yeah order an another one if it has play we can't save it if it's really hard to move uh, try the brake, brake cleaner and uh, the grease it'll improve it a lot and uh, sometimes you're lucky and you get one that is moving almost perfectly so that's my take on these things. Um, you can't save a lot of money with these, uh, but if they're not working, you should know what to do and um, when to give up. So thank you very much for watching and bye bye.